you miss the Rapid TCT convention in Los Angeles this year? Matter Hackers had the honor of showing what we have to offer to the additive manufacturing community with a variety of 3D printers, filaments, and other accessories that we carry. At Rapid, the company hosted the Community Quest Challenge. Matter Hackers partnered with several of our vendors to bring an engaging and interactive experience with a grand prize as the cherry on top. By participating in the Quest, attendees were challenged with meeting many of our partner vendors, learning about the latest advancements in 3D printing, and collecting stickers from each vendor they visited for a chance to win $5,000 to spend at Matter Hackers. Now that you're all caught up, let's get to know some of our partners and vendors. Hi, this is Zane with American Makes. Uh, I am our membership and engagement manager here. Uh, I oversee all of the membership and making sure that we have a value proposition for everybody that joins the Institute. Uh, we do a couple of things. We are a DOD funded uh, manufacturing innovation institute. So we focus on technology research and development as it pertains to the Department of Defense, as well as increasing the adoption and the growth of additive manufacturing in the United States. Uh, we also have a education and workforce development pillar that helps train trainers to support all of that research and development that we're doing so that there are operators for the additive manufacturing that uh, is in the United States. And we also have an ecosystem pillar that is there to support the supply chain of additive manufacturing and also making sure that uh, small, medium manufacturers, startups, and everybody has the support that they need to work their way and integrate into the supply chain. Hello, here's Bubble from 3D Maker Pro. We mainly target to the consumer market. Aim to bring the best, your friendly and entry level 3D scanner to all of the uh, makers, hobbyists to let them enjoy the 3D fun of the world. So I'm um, I'm Musa. I'm an applications engineer with uh, Big Rep. Uh, this is one of our you know newest machines. It's our new foray into uh, you know high temp industrial 3D printing. Um, the show has been fairly good for us so far. We've released two products here. Uh, the VIO and our Ultra over here. Our VIO kind of does everything up until Peak and Ultim, and this kind of takes over from there. Hello, I'm Cédric Mallet. I am the CEO of Bamboo Lab GmbH, which is the European oh, subsidiary of Bamboo Lab, dealing with uh, sales and marketing for the Bamboo Lab brand in uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Uh, and Bamboo Lab uh, is a consumer uh, desktop 3D printing manufacturer, which uh, is focusing on delivering a full customer experience, on a full 3D printing experience. So we are working on hardware, our 3D printers, we are working on software, we are working on modeling, we are working on material, all of this to bring a complete uh, 3D printing experience to our customers. Hi, I'm Mike Valentine. I'm actually one of the uh, founders and creators of BuildTech. Um, you know, we came out with our original BuildTech sheets back in 2013. And at that time, everyone was printing blue tape, um, blue tape and um, no answers for ABS. And like I said, that put us on the map. And since then, we've come up with a lot of solutions like our uh, popular spatula, the, the one 3D printing removal tool that's actually designed for its purpose. Um, over the years, we've had a lot of success with our flex plate system. And um, the, the latest products are um, a, a glue that's designed for poly printing polypropylene. We came out with this a couple of years ago. We have another one that works for an island PC. And because of the success of these products, we decided to come up with a, a brand new surface. We have two new surfaces, uh, BuildTech Plus for polypropylene and BuildTech Plus for PA and PC, which is nylon and, and polycarbonate. Uh, what's good about these is they actually are, are sheets, the, the usual BuildTech sheets with a permanent coating that uh, helps enhance, it's enhanced for printing polypropylene and nylon and PC. And the best thing is you can actually print PLA, ABS, all the usual patchy, all the usual filaments on those. So they're very universal in, 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 in their nature. So it's, I said we're hoping to get that out there into the world and help uh, help people print polypropylene, nylon, polycarbonate. Hi there, I'm Rory. I'm the engineering manager here at E3D. Uh, we produce nozzles, hot ends, and extruders for FDN 3D printers. Um, so at the show today, we're showing off a um, newly announced uh, diamondback version of the bamboo hot end which is really good for printing very abrasive materials like metal and ceramic fields and um, polymers. Um, we also have a version uh, that is high flow, which gets up to 6% more flow rate out of the same length bamboo hot end. Um, so if you have a print farm or want to produce lots of parts really quickly, it's really good for that. Hello everyone, this is Joy from Flashforge. We supply 3D printers, filaments uh, to our customers. 
Well, today I would like to recommend our new CD printer, the high-speed affordable and high-speed uh, CD printer to you. Well, uh, the maximum printing speed for this two will be 600 millimeters per second. So, so it's super fast to print to print a Benji, you only need to take about 12 minutes. Yeah. So the standard printing price is 300 millimeters per second. So we also provide the colorful uh, different kinds of CD printing filaments like PLA, PEPG, ABS, and also we uh, recently we released our high speed filaments so we can use on your CD printers. Yeah. And uh, well, this one we got Adventure 5M Pro is an enclosure CD printer and with high speed and also we got high path feeder and the camera here. We also uh, released our app, phone app so you can connect uh, your CD printer and remote printing. So it's super good and uh, uh, super fast. It's really suitable for uh, using in your home or your uh, classroom. So I really recommend these machines to you all. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm the channel manager here at Form Labs. We're at uh, Rapid here in Los Angeles, and I'm standing in front of our Fuse One ecosystem. So we have our Fuse, our Sift, and our new Fuse last year on, on the show, and uh, yeah, we're excited to show it off. Hey, everybody. My name's Darren Warnick. I am the channel manager for the Americas for Intampsis. Intampsis is a FDM 3D printer manufacturer out of Shanghai, China. Of course, we've got a presence here in the United States, and we're happy to be here at Rapid working with our friends, Matter Hackers. In addition to those printers that we offer, which is the 610 and the 410 and the HT, is this new printer that's the 310. And this is the one printer that does not focus on the high heat, but what it does is all of the other materials that are available, it, does those very, it prints those very well. But that's what we do here. We love to do it, and we'd love to, uh, to meet your customers anytime anyone's ready to talk. So thank you. Hi everyone, it's uh, Jason from LDO Motors. Yes, LDO Motors already worked with Matter Access for many years, from the path to the printer kit. And uh, LDO is mainly focused on the step motors. We are the key supplier of pressure, form levers, loose balls. And we also work with open source projects like Voron, Polytron, NEX. And uh, our Voron kit is a trustable Voron kit for many community members and they love LDO Voron kit. And the Medic also sell a lot of LDO Voron kit in their store. Yeah, that's all about LDO. And we have a new production position. It's upside down print. It's very unique and very fun. Yeah, that's for all about LDO. Thank you. All right, I'm Nate Sampson. I'm an application engineer here at Mark Forge. Uh, we're here at Rapid showing off our, our awesome continuous fiber technology. Um, one of the, the key selling points here at Mark Forge is that continuous fiber, which brings up uh, functional parts. So tooling and fixturing, supporting general manufacturing is, is what we do really well. Um, my role as an application engineer is to take that really unique technology and implement, and implement it into different industries. So it's solving um, unique tooling applications where it may take long lead times or, or high dollar value. Um, our customers can then produce that in-house. Um, that does take a bit of know-how, and that's where I can get involved to teach uh, the skills on how to do that, um, and sometimes even thinking outside the box and coming up with unique solutions to uh, unique problems. Hi, I'm Jaime Martinez from Mimaki USA. I'm the 3D applications specialist, and this is our product, uh, the Mimaki 3UJ2207. Uh, it's a full color uh, 3D printer, and you can combine uh, clear and uh, opaque applications. Hi, my name is Shaka and I'm the founder and CEO of Modix. Modix is a developer of large scale 3D printers. We have all kinds of sizes from 60 by 60 by 60 to two meter wide machines. Uh, we are one of the biggest suppliers of large scale machines. We are soon to celebrate our 4,000 installations worldwide. Uh, we have installation all over the world and serving automotive aviation industries as well as research and even artists. Our unique go-to market is self-assembly kits, meaning that you uh, use our machines as a platform rather than a closed box. You can control your configuration, you can grow with it over time, 
buy new features, new technologies as we release all the time, new features and new add-ons. So today we are presenting for the first time a new line of machines, which is based on pellet extrusion. The first one called Mama 1700, 1700, and it is 1.7 meter wide on one on one meter XYZ. It allows to print with pellet extrusion, with pellet extruder, uh, came from the DICE design, the name is Pulsar, it's uh, a well-known uh, printhead, and it will allow us to make bigger parts much faster with various applications for molds, for furniture, decoration, and way more. Hi, my name is Nathaniel. I'm an account executive here at Mosaic Manufacturing. This behind me is our automated 3D printing solution. So as you can see here, there's four individual elements inside, which are 3D printers. And we have a gantry system that actually takes off the entire print bed once the print is done. It's gonna take it into the storage cart for you. And then from there, it'll take a brand new build plate, slot it in. So you have continuous printing with up to 72 hours without operator intervention. So right here, the only time you need to do anything is when that storage cart is full or when you run out of filament, but fully stacked up, you can handle about 60 kilograms. So that's gonna take a bit of time before you actually run out of materials. So this is the big solution for print farms, just because a lot of times when you work with 20, 30 printers, you're gonna need a lot of manual labor to deal with all the prints. But with this system, it helps you automate all that and just saves you a lot of time, a lot of money. So let's say you have a job that comes in on Friday at 5 p.m. You can then send that to the printer. And then from there on Monday, you just have all the prints ready to go. So even when you're sleeping, this thing is working. My name is Luke Taylor. I'm the creative director at Polymaker. And we have some big news here at the Rapid Show. We are launching two new product families. One is called Fibron. It's dedicated to composite materials. Uh, engineering, we have three new materials that we've introduced. The other one is called Panchroma dedicated to having the widest color uh, selection available on the market and the widest range of surface finishes. So you can choose your filament by surface finish and then color. We have different extrusion techniques such as gradient or dual color or dual gradient together. Uh, and then Polymaker, as you already know it, is uh, still keeping for the rest of the uh, materials. So we still have a lot of materials in Polymaker, ASA and CPU and special materials like polycast or support materials. So if you follow me to Fibron, then we can talk more about the new materials. So this is Fibron. We have a whole new look for this product family. Uh, all our materials are black because most of them have carbon fiber, although one of them has glass fiber, our gray one here. Uh, this is the PPSCF. It's our most exciting new material. It's so stiff that it actually sounds like metal. So. When I ring this bell, it's a 100% plastic bell, but it rings like metal. We also have a PTG with recycled carbon fiber. This is billed as the PLA of engineering materials, selling for only $20 a spool. And then we also have a PTCF, uh, which is a very high speed printing engineering material. And then we've borrowed the remaining uh, nylon materials that were in the Polymaker family previously and now over in the Fibron brand. So Panchroma is all about color and we have two ways to find a filament, uh, either with surface finish or you go straight for the color. So to help uh, our customers find the color that they need, we're developing a web app. Where you can upload your 3D file and then view it and then you can select through the different colors to then uh, view your model in a 3D space. So I can show you a quick demonstration. So here we have our yellow. You can zoom in, see how it's going to look, and it's pre-sliced. So we can change the layer height here. You can, this is our satin colors. We can select the gloss color. We'll be able to play with the lighting or play with the background. And this is our new panchroma spool. They're very colorful. This is our gradient uh, rainbow. Um, still a cardboard spool. We have a, uh, a rim around the edge now, so it rolls even smoother. Uh, and we have 190 colors available on Panchroma. Uh, next year, we will add a new color range every quarter. Uh, so really the best place to come for color colorful filaments. Hi, my name is Jose Luis Rodriguez. I'm the sales director for Race3D. At Race3D, we manufacture 3D printers from industrial printers, professional and desktop type. Uh, right here, we have our uh, newest uh, release, which is the Race 3D 
Pro 3 Plus HS, which is a uh, professional printer uh, capable of printing at high speeds, 200 millimeters per second, with a reliable result. My name is Xiao. Uh, I'm here with Slice Engineering. I'm the application engineer uh, on the team. And essentially what Slice Engineering does is we design industrial hot end and nozzle for different 3D printers and we help different mass production customers to really produce whatever they need, like this prosthetic leg here out in San Diego. Uh, but today we're really showcasing a new hot end called Mako. Uh, so it's gonna be paired with different X1 or P1 series bamboo lab printers. So what it does, is it has higher flow rate, it's, it's abrasion resistant, so we can print CF or GF based kind of infill material really well. And we also are launching a new fin nozzle standard so that we can create a better printing experience for the users. So that was, that's what we have for today. Uh, and check us out at our website and go order Mako today. Hi, my name is Jose Alvarado. I'm with Source Graphics. Uh, my role is business development representative. Uh, so basically our main job uh, in the additive industry is to help uh, and distribute uh, different 3D manufactured products, uh, whether it be printers or scanners. Uh, we have a wide material catalog and, and products that we tailor to uh, certain individuals, whether you're just starting out in the hobbyist level or you're in the EDU in, uh, industry or a more professional industrial setting. We have a printer for your needs. We are like to basically uh, handheld, handhold you guys throughout the whole buyer process. So we'll be there from point A to all the way to point B. Uh, so even after the purchase, we'll there to guide you and see if there's anything that we could help you out with after the fact we're here to service you guys in any way we can and answer your questions anything 3d related we have you covered we are the virtual foundry we make metal 3d printing materials so we take metal powders like this like this is copper powder and we combine it with pla and make that into a filament this filament can be printed in any standard fdm fff 3d printer like the bamboo labs creality etc ultimaker and it can then be processed into a pure metal part in a kiln, in an expensive hobby kiln that typically costs under $2,000, which you also sell on our website. And this is our new president, Austin Triggs. We're just announcing this now, so this will be a new, a new development.